All right, so we're still learning about reproduction. The next thing we have to talk about are two methods that have to do with sexual reproduction. So there's internal um, fertilization and there's external fertilization. So we're going to go through some notes and I'm going to show you a couple of quick videos and then we will be caught up on that. So let's go ahead and start with this. So the first type we're going to talk about is internal fertilization. So internal fertilization, just um, as you might guess, the word internal means inside. So that means that the fertilization happens inside the body. Okay, so that means the sperm and the egg are meeting inside. Sperm and egg are joining oops, inside. Okay, um, whereas an external fer fertilization, as you can guess, this would mean that it happens outside of the body. So the sperm and egg are joining outside of the body. So you might uh, be wondering what types of things do the different um, types of fertilization. I think you can probably guess that humans, dogs, cats, all mammals use internal fertilization. Okay, so this is mammals, birds so even though they lay eggs the fertilization still happens inside of the body um humans which we would still be considered mammals but just so you got that and then external fertilization these are things that you're going to find that live in water so things like fish amphibians which are frogs toads okay those are the types of things that are going to be using the external fertilization type. So before we go any further, let's watch a quick video of um, external fertilization. So this is a video showing um, a salmon. And so I'll play the video and kind of explain what's happening. So these are salmon. The female salmon is under, under here. Um, she's dug a little hole and right now she just laid her eggs and now he is releasing all of the sperm over the eggs and then that's what fertilizes the eggs outside of her body. Okay, so that's external fertilization. Another example of external fertilization, how it works, are these frogs. So you've probably seen this or maybe seen this happening where the female frog, she is actually under here. He is laying on top just so that he can fertilize the eggs as she's laying them. So she's pushing the eggs out of her body and he is um, releasing the sperm um, right over them so that they can be fertilized right then. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of kind of like what external fertilization looks like. Let's go back to comparing and contrasting. Um, so the thing with internal fertilization, so again, humans, mammals, birds, where it's happening inside, the reason or some um, things that make this good is that it's more accurate. So as you can probably guess based on those videos, external fertilization is not as accurate because they're just kind of releasing the sperm and kind of what happens is what happens. Um, with internal fertilization, there is also more protection. So because the offspring are inside of the mother, then it's a lot more likely that they're protected. Or if they're inside of a hard shell egg, they're going to be more protected. Whereas in external fertilization, there's a lot less protection. Um, back over to internal fertilization. So this is also, because there's more protection, because it's more accurate, then it's a lot more likely that the organisms will survive, that the offspring will survive. And I'm sure you can guess that means that in external fertilization, it's less likely for the offspring to survive. Um, so of course that leads to um, 
there are also less offspring produced in internal fertilization. And because it's less likely that the offspring are going to survive in external fertilization, as you saw in that those videos, they lay a lot of eggs because it's um, more likely that they're not even going to make it. So more, sorry, offspring produced. All right. Um, so the thing that these things both have in common is these are both examples or methods of sexual reproduction. So this does not involve anything related to asexual reproduction. This is just sexual reproduction. You still have two parents, you still have a male and a female, and sperm and egg are both involved. Um, again, this also produces a new organism, okay? Um, so I think that's about it. Um, again, remember based on this video and um, what you saw in the other videos, the goal is that you are able to compare and contrast internal and external fertilization. You can give examples of the types of animals or organisms you would find using these types of fertilization, and you can give me some advantages and disadvantages. So let me know if you have any questions.